space exploration is replete with moments of wonder, horror, and scientific awe. Among the few such events where the line between science fiction and fact gets blurred, there is one that stands out in unsettling isolation. Voyager 1, the NASA space probe launched in 1977, has been for years an uncanny wanderer through the interstellar emptiness, sending back information from parts of space previously unvisited by human hand or machinery. Designed originally for a four-year mission to study Jupiter and Saturn, it has surpassed all expectations, traveling more than 15 billion miles from Earth. Over four decades after its launch, Voyager 1's mission appeared to be winding down, with its transmissions growing increasingly sporadic and faint. But recently, a surge in unusual activity drew attention back to the aging probe. Then something unprecedented happened. Voyager 1 sent back a picture that defied all odds and sparked one of the hottest debates in contemporary astrophysics. The picture was not just a technical anomaly, it seemed to show a manufactured object or entity. Physicist Miyoka said that artificial intelligence processing the data corroborated something deeply disturbing. The transmission could have been from an alien intelligence, not a natural phenomenon. It started off innocently enough. Ground Control received a run-of-the-mill data packet from Voyager 1, just one of the millions of shots of radio signals it has transmitted after exiting the solar system. But what distinguished this packet from others at first glance wasn't the information itself, it was the pattern of the signal. The AI monitoring telemetry flagged the packet because it detected an unusual pattern. The modulation did not resemble anything seen before from the probe. At first, engineers feared a malfunction, perhaps an echo of the probe's failing systems. But further scrutiny by NASA's Deep Space Network uncovered something much deeper. The signal had a structure that looked like digital encoding, complete with redundancy, error correction, and recursive sequences, features unmistakably reminiscent of intelligent design. When AI programs trained on deep space signal detection analyzed the content, the packet disclosed a type of imagery, not a typical photo, but a geometrically encoded, vector-type depiction. When reconstructed, the image chilled the spines of the people who viewed it. It depicted a dark, starless background, to be expected because Voyager was so far out from any luminous bodies. But at its heart glowed an illuminated building, a symmetrical, lattice-type structure throbbing dimly across high-frequency frequencies. It was anything but natural. It was constructed. Physicist Miyoku, one of the theoretical physics world's leading voices, was one of the first scientists to hear about the image and its potential significance. He went on the record saying that the AI that deciphered Voyager's message had found the structure of the signal to be non-random and perhaps even responsive. In short, it was a response. That discovery blew apart decades of supposition. Voyager 1 had crossed the heliopause, the point at which the sun's radiation stops, years earlier. It was not built to send active messages, merely passive updates on its internal status. Therefore, the question was, who or what might have picked up such a weak signal, decoded it, and replied so accurately? The entry deepened as scrutiny of the image uncovered layered patterns, such as recursive diagrams, symmetry tags, and even aesthetic touches that duplicated some of the earliest Earth-based communication protocols. Buried in the binary data were hints of trinary code, a more complex and unfamiliar type of information encoding. Every level of analysis only added weight to the hypothesis, this was not noise. This was a designed, deliberate response. The scientific community was thrown into chaos. Skeptics warned against hasty conclusions, theorizing that natural forces were still possible. But the mathematical purity of the signal, the confidence measures of AI, and the repeated logic patterns rendered that theory less and less plausible. What shook experts to their core, however, was the second layer of data, a vector map. When decoded by astrophysicists, it revealed coordinates consistent with earlier unexplained gravitational anomalies detected by deep space observatories. Those anomalies, previously explained away as statistical noise or wobbles in dark matter, now presented a coherent pattern, potentially a galactic navigation system or structural network. This led to an even more unnerving hypothesis, Voyager could have wandered into a space area not empty, but filled. 
Miyoka suggested that if this kind of intelligence had caught Voyager's weak signal, it had either technology much higher than our own or was nearer than we had realized. The accuracy of the signal, the hidden picture, and the map implied a calculated, layered effort to communicate, maybe even to determine if human civilization was ready to receive. What was more unsettling was that some of Voyager's initial transmission appeared to be embedded in the signal that was brought back, echo, as if in salute. To others, this was a cosmic shake. Not a hostile act, but a clear one. For years, we thought deep space to be empty and quiet. But this single message flipped that idea on its side. Its implications went beyond science. Philosophers, ethicists, and even diplomats joined the discussion. If Voyager had initiated contact with a thinking civilization, however passive the encounter, then humanity had just moved onto a larger, unexplored cosmic stage. Questions came very quickly. Should Earth reply? And how? And who should represent humanity? These controversies reopened the old controversies once sparked by the golden record Voyager contains, an audiovisual package thought up by Carl Sagan and others, giving a description of Earth and humanity to any finder. NASA and international agencies formed emergency panels, bringing together astrophysicists, linguists, code theorists, theologians, and policymakers. Their goal, to prepare for the possibility of a continued dialogue. Some argued against any response, warning of potential risks. After all, we had no idea of the responders' intentions or technological capabilities. Others believed the moment represented a turning point in human history, one that should be met with open-minded exploration and careful outreach. At the same time, subsequent readings from Voyager 1 uncovered something even more mysterious, a rhythmic pattern of pulses, intentional and mathematically organized. Researchers theorize it may be some kind of teaching device, a primer, a quiz, or even a tutorial. Similar to linguistic scaffolding or elementary math, it may be constructed to incrementally build a bridge of comprehension. These pulses were arranged into sequences that mimic prime numbers, geometric proportions, and other cosmic constants, math that is above culture and biology. As Voyager 1 proceeds on its infinite journey, it has evolved from a passive ambassador to something much more profound, a cosmic messenger, a first contact. What was initially an isolationist probe bearing humanity's optimism and culture into the unknown can now be the instrument that opens the door to our existence in a populated galaxy. Social media exploded with theories, hope, fear, and wonder. Overnight, documentaries were ordered. News channels worldwide aired special segments. Some religious leaders interpreted this as proof of divine creation. Others believed it to be a test of human readiness to evolve as a species. Others were in terror of the implications of an intelligence so vast and far away that we were only now beginning to notice it. Michio Kaku, during an emergency symposium organized by the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs, proposed a fundamental rethink of our position in the universe. This isn't just science fiction made real, he stated. Something that makes us rethink the Drake equation, the Fermi paradox, and our cultural hubris in presuming the universe to be quiet. He noted that for an extraterrestrial intelligence to know and work Voyager's telemetry, it would take either a remarkable ability for signal analysis or an intimate familiarity with human engineering, or both. The narrative struck a second surprising turn when AI decoders picked up a portion in the pulse stream that replicated Earth's own binary timekeeping mechanisms. The time interval and modulation patterns aligned with Earth's rotational period, orbital period, and even the hydrogen spectral line, a cosmic constant employed in interstellar communication. These features were part of the original golden record, implying that whoever transmitted the message had not only heard Voyager's salutation but comprehended it profoundly. Closer examination uncovered what seemed to be metadata embedded within the signal. It contained timestamps, error logs, and even modifications duplicating human engineering procedures, yet another indication that the transmission was not merely a response but a clever adaptation. It indicated a communications protocol program to adapt with the recipient's knowledge base, nearly as if a self-calibrating language bridge. 
NASA released a formal notice affirming the signal as legitimate, saying much remains unknown but the integrity and origin of the packet beyond the heliopause are beyond doubt. They reiteratively stressed that none of the existing models of natural cosmic events could simulate the layered complexity observed in the signal. Hypotheses suggesting pulsar interference, quantum anomalies, or probe malfunction were quickly eliminated. The coup de grace to skepticism was delivered when an echo was found in the signal, a precise repeat of Voyager's hello from the children of planet Earth, a multilanguage greeting on the golden record. But it wasn't merely replayed. It had been translated, reassembled with frequency modulations that duplicated Earth's phonetic patterns but comprised entirely different waveforms. It was as if someone had heard our greeting and responded in turn. For the moment, the world observes and waits. The silence in response to this bizarre transmission is not vacant, it is anticipatory. A question has been posed. An answer has been given. And the universe, once believed to be indifferent and silent, now appears to be awake, listening, and possibly waiting. There is something eerie in the thought that a machine deployed prior to the digital era has opened up a conversation across light years. Voyager 1 has survived its designers, bested our projections, and outlasted the skepticisms of the people who thought the universe would forever be quiet. It now carries the burden of an encounter, one which can redefine what it is to be human. If you thought this was as mind-blowing as we did, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe for more news on space discoveries, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think Voyager 1 discovered out there? Who or what do you think sent the signal back? Could this be the start of a new era of cosmic communication? We want to hear your theories. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep looking up.